Hey guys, this is Cosmo, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, uh, we're starting off exactly where we left off last time. Uh, we're in our Fleet Star, uh, F207A, and we will be picking up these upgrades, if at all possible. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping there is a way up here uh, that's doable with uh, the Fleet Star. And we're also going to be activating this tools delivery uh, quest. Deliver to the warehouse, curtain side trailer. Oh, so actually we we have a quest to deliver something there. So cool. Uh, great. So we actually can totally just come down here. Uh, pick up this upgrade quickly enough. Then come back. Then come back come through here uh, see if we can handle this situation pick up that upgrade then I'll go all the way back take the quest and see if well I'll really start to deliver the um, deliver the um, trailer let's hope we Let's hope this goes exactly as swimmingly as I presented, because I kind of fear that it won't. <laughs> I mean, um, Smithville Dam hasn't been kind to us. It's definitely been a challenge compared to uh, Black River. I definitely had to get... Uh, my game face on for it. We made a lot of mistakes. But I th like to think we bounced back from them pretty well. I, I mean, I'm definitely more cautious now in regards to uh, where I'm putting my wheels down and how fast I'm going over things. super need to conserve fuel because we definitely have a trailer store on the way back so we can totally refuel the earth for one but I just want to make sure that uh, we don't end up in a situation where we would actually need that extra fuel because we do have a fair bit of uh, trekking to do before we're actually back at the trailer store. Okay, so let's take this easy. We are still using the low range. Uh, the auto, given the amount of power we have, and because we're so naked, we don't have any cargo or any beds either, uh, the truck is bouncing all over the place, and I don't want to risk high speed because that will just make it bouncy so much I fear it will bounce us right off the path so let's take this slow let's take this easy I'm uh, conserving fuel as well with uh, without using the all-wheel drive just using the differential lock with uh, the low range I mean I'm barely breaking five liters a minute which if I just turn on the all-wheel drive for a second there we will burst up to eight ten treacherous little path here. And yeah, see what I mean? Just how much it just went off with uh, a tiny bit of speed. Wheels primed on that side. Let's get this upgrade. Okay, so this is a raised kit for the White Western Star. We got another upgrade for the White Western Star. I don't know where this truck is. I think it's in this map, but I'm not really certain. So uh, let's head back. 
Yeah, let's head back and get that upgrade. It might be smart to actually go to Drummond Island. Maybe we can find the garage and maybe exactly like this, uh, the garage will be close to the entrance. So that will actually give us an, the ability to fast travel there and come from that side instead of going through the... Okay, let's take this easy. Instead of going through the... Um, Long mountain pass. Uh, I stopped there for a second because the truck was uh, having a bit of fun with itself. So this might be a bit of a bad idea. No, 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 no. This is way too, way too short. This is not smart. Right now is trying to reverse into the path. Just so we can approach this uh, straight on because that would have been way too tight of a turn to do without uh, any kind of uh, assistance. I don't want to risk winching because winches are useful and they can help. In those situations just to give you a little bracing point but winches also have a problem in that situation and the problem they have is that you cannot de-winch as in increase the length of the winch and if you cannot do that basically you can't control how far you are from your winch point I'm pretty sure this is not meant to be done with this truck. But let's take it easy. Let's... Oh wow, crap. <laughs> I was gonna say let's take it easy, let's be calm, but this is kind of terrible. Let's just quickly tap the acceleration, let's not press it down. We just need to squeeze through this. There we go. I hope I have somewhere to turn once I'm up there. I don't want to do this whole path in reverse. Actually, where are we? Okay, we have to go straight on. Okay, cool. Easy does it. Oh, is this Mark? Is this Swampland? No, I don't think so. Just got the feel from uh, the vegetation that it might be. Let's switch to auto. This seems uh, solid enough. Well, it's not that solid. So let's go back to low. Let's activate all wheel drive and go differential lock. This is not great terrain. help. I'm trying to Spider-Man myself. There we go. That's what I wanted. Cool. This was good enough. That was a, almost a mistake there. But a mistake that you make and that you learn from, it's called experience. Oh, 
What? What? Uh, you call this a path? You call this a path? This? Jesus Christ. I mean, I don't doubt that maybe I can do it, but... Wow. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? Easy does it. I mean, climbing isn't all that difficult for this game. I mean, I've definitely seen some insane climbs that I could do, which... And I've seen some little rocks in mucky terrain, which I thought was like cheap easy, but it wasn't. So yeah, def I definitely don't underestimate, uh, don't overestimate climbing anymore in uh, SnowRunner. I mean, if you compare, we're going almost as fast now as we were on, uh, on the climbing. And yes, this is uh, on low gear, I know that. Let's see if we can turn this around. Okay, cool. I'm entirely sure we should have not gotten up here with this truck, but it is what it is. Get upgrade. Freeway. Ugh, we got the freeway upgrade for what truck? GMC 500? No, Fracture. A fair lot of them. For a lot of scouts. Uh, not that we'll ever actually use the freeway upgrade, to be fair. But sure. Okay. Cool. Great. Freeway uh, gearbox upgrade. An advanced gearbox sporting many functional improvements on regular variants, such as higher gear count and top speed, and an added high gear at the cost of low reliability. That's fine, I'll be fine with my off-road slash uh, snowrunner gearbox if we can find them for my trucks. Thank you very much. Now, um, we let's try not doing this on the return. I fear for my for my truck's uh, stability. So let's see if we can do this alternate route. Let's see if maybe this is uh, ever so slightly better. Again, we have to get all the way back here and pick up one of the pick up a trailer, and then take that trailer over here. Which, I mean, we could go via this route. I mean, let's just see, let's just see how it is. If it's uh, something I consider to be practicable, sure, we'll do it. Otherwise, we won't. this? No, we can't. Okay, let's switch over to... Was I? I? I keep pressing the handbrake, you know, by... And if you're wondering why I'm switching to, again, reverse, it's because we have, in the reverse gear, we can activate the differential lock, and we cannot do it in the auto-reverse. Solid. Again, the fact where we just uh, came from. And yeah, I think this is the main road which we'll be taking with the trailer if we come through here. Yep, it is. So let's begin scouting it. Uh, okay, slightly terrible, but not bad. I can see this being something I can totally trailer through. But this is these little rocklets ish. And where's the path going? It's going l left or something? No, it's not. It's, uh, it's this thing here. Which, wow. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to take a trailer through this. 
We'll, we'll have to see see uh, what kind of trailer it even is. It's one of those tall trailers for sure. I think we're skipping it. This is way too crooked for a trailer. And we'll just take the regular mountain pass, which is a lot more better suited. fast as we've gone in the last uh, half an hour or so. Okay, let's turn to low gear because this is that murky terrain which we crossed earlier. We went on the right there. Actually, yeah, no. There we go. Now we start uh, getting really mucky. Let's just uh, Spider-Man as much as we can for the sake of uh, expediency. We're taking the trailer via the long route. I'm not sure if I'll be taking you guys along for that because it's relatively unexciting. But maybe. Meanwhile, let's just be careful because we still have some treacherous paths across. We just takes one tiny slip of the wheel and we are turned over. So we can have a bit of a balance. The truck itself. Oh right, we have to take uh, we have to take a right here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's switch over to auto. Just so we avoid doing that ultra sharp turn again. There we go. Back to low gear for this. I mean, sometimes I don't know what the physics is doing. I really, really don't. Yeah, no, for sure. It's a horribly tall trailer. We are not, not bothering with that. That secondary tight route. One of our warehouses need to optimize their loading hub. Right now, they lack tools and equipment to do it. Get them what they need. They'll want to make sure you're compensated for trouble. So you have like extremely precise electronics in the middle of nowhere. Why do you have it here? That's my question. But then again, not many tasks and quests in um, SnowRunner make sense. Whoa, no, 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 we will not, we will not take that under our wheels. Nope, definitely not. We know the hazards of uh, trash cans. We have fought them before. There we go. And now, let's set ourselves a little path we're going up this through here coming out here to Drummond Island hmm. 
it really really itches me that maybe we should uh, head over to Drummond Island just to unlock the garage. Hmm. No, I think I'll be doing that. Uh, we'll be taking this uh, trailer up and then we'll be checking out uh, Drummond. Unlocking the garage there if we can. Well, refueling and then checking out Drummond, I mean. There. I wonder if I press shift. Oh wow, yeah, the clutch actually works. So if I press shift, it actually clutches. Or does it? Hmm, I don't know. Either way. Let's be safe. French lock, all wheel drive, taking it easy and chill on low drive. This trailer doesn't do much to actually stabilize me. Semi trailers actually do. I actually like running semi trailers more than I like running trailers. But uh, with the Fleet Star, it has a little issue that uh, if the terrain is ever so slightly inclined, you can end up in a situation where your front wheels don't take, uh, don't actually connect, and you don't have any steering, and that's scary as hell. Also, we are having a fair bit of trouble with this, aren't we? The poor Fleet Star is barely inching this up. Let's uh, Spider Man ourselves a bit. Or am I artificially? It? Let's try auto. Maybe it can do more. Nope, it can't. Ooh, wow, really? Okay. I think this is probably the hardest I've seen the Fleet Star uh, struggle. started hitting these tiny rocklets which definitely impede our progress. Yeah, wow. This is tough. Let's try and keep those uh, rocks, rocklets, whatever, in the middle of our wheelbase. Keep the wheels solidly on the ground as much as possible. Hmm. Am I digging in? Yep, I'm digging in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, baby. You can do it. Just find that path. Find that path. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. You can do it. Take it easy, slowly, and find that path. Come on. There we go. Come on. Just a bit more. We're almost there. We are almost there. The winch does, does not help in that situation. We just need to get the decent grip of the ground under us. Or is it stuck? Is that stuck in something? Okay, let's try. Yeah, there we go. Let's try fording it a bit. Well, not fording, but... Let's try exploring this a bit until we actually find where the ground gives way. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Do I have... Yes, I have a winch spot. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There we go. And I actually feel sorry for the guy that had to take this trailer down, down there. 
are still having problems? Well, we're still having problems. We shouldn't. I mean, there's still rocks here, sure, but it should be pretty solid. Let's not make that mistake. Okay, uh, let's take a minute. Let's take a minute here and get ourselves sorted. There we go, that straightened us out. Wow, my, my poor little truck is working so hard for this. So, so hard. I'm pretty sure that were we to have the Paystar, it could not have done this. I am pretty sure. In the end, this is utterly pulling power. Nothing more, nothing less, just raw strength of pull. Yeah, I was limiting it to low, but I don't think uh, it would have done much. It would have just stuck us into low 1 out of 5. I actually wanted a differential lock uh, for the rocks there, more than anything. Okay, in any case, let's, uh, let's take a left here. Let's refuel. We can turn off all-wheel drive by this point. Go to the trailer store. Come on, come on, come on. Turn around. What's the problem? Okay. Let's visit the trailer store. Um, let's drop this off uh, just before it. Let's uh, refuel, uh, repair, and head back. And maybe unlock the garage in Drummond. And then we can just come back and do this quest uh, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Let's drop this here. Ooh. What happened there? Let's detach it. Well, you know what? Sure, let's make ourselves an entrance. Trailer store. Uh, maintenance trailer. Stop. V. Repair. Repair. Exit V, fuel, fuel C, sell it. Okay. Let's head out to Drummond and let's hope we um, actually just do skip time a bit. It's just so we can have the daylight when we have the sequence for entering a new area. has four errors and I think this is the third one. If I'm mistaken there's something called Island Lake, Lake Island, whatever, being the last one. Okay, Drummond Island, there we go. and see if we can uh, find that garage. I don't know what this is, but might as well pick up this quest if we're here. <laughs> okay, this is just a recovery mission for some dudes. Not sure where the oh is this the garage here? No, this is uh, some kind of docks. Okay, let's hope the garage is close by. If nothing else, uh, we'll probably uh, end the episode there and uh, save that trailer um, 
transfer for the next episode. That doesn't look like my garage. Yeah, no, that looks like a camp or something. We'll have enough time to explore the area after we set up a home base here. So that's not it. Okay, there seems to be something behind this uh, path here, so let's do a little bit of exploring. Metal beams on a sideboard trailer, if I'm not mistaken. Also get the XP for uncovering the trailer itself. Let's take this task. Not gonna uh, bother with actually uncovering it now. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's see if we can get to that watchtower. That's probably gonna be the best option for us to figure out. We should be wasting time around here or heading in a whole other different direction. This route, okay. So take a left here, and yeah, that's the watchtower. I can already see it from here, but it's gonna be a bit of a climb. Let's take it easy. This looks mucky as hell. leads us straight up there or do we need to do some extreme off-roading yeah technically there is a path yeah let's not let's not do anything silly shall we we totally do this That they put a little guardrail here. This area does look, I know, moderately easier than. Uh, oh, eesh, this is tight. Than. Um, this little dam. Angling of it. 
sure there's a better word and a more fancier word for this than tilting and angling, but oh well. Okay, let's be careful not to, not to turn here on a bad angle. There we go. Nice wide turn there. And this unlocks that. Forged by the sea. Okay, we've got an upgrade location, sure. More importantly, do we have a garage location? No, we do not. Yeesh. Can we see anything? Okay, there's a truck here. Cool. Not sure if that's free or just a recovery or repair or something. That's okay. I'm getting this is getting pretty late in the episode, and we are still far from uh, far from uh, anything useful. So you know what, guys? Um, let's see. Can we get anywhere? Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, Let's go here. That should be close enough. Visit that uh, cool lighthouse. And I think we can uh, stop the episode there. And we'll see what we pick up uh, next time. So I have to return on the same path I came through. Shouldn't be a problem because I can... Have space to turn here. Unless I flip over and I'll be very sad. Very, very, very sad. Okay, I don't know why we are in this situation. I don't care none of it for it. It's because of a tiny rock. It's because of a tiny rock, that's why. Because of tiny rocks. Every time something bad happens to us in no runner is because of tiny rocks. rocks we have no problem with. Tiny rocks? Tiny rocks is our nemesis. confident here because if we do we will be in a world of pain it's gonna be a lot of uh, catch up to be done wow are you for real are you for real okay I'll just uh, skip this and go straight through here Here, I said here. There we go. Just a bit more. Okay, I think we're having a bit too much fun here. Let's uh, let's cancel that. Oh, are we terribly stuck? Please, come on. Let's not be terribly stuck here. This is 
what a car wrapped around the tree looks like. Wow, I think we are entirely horribly stuck. But still talk about an extended winch range. Okay, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. Let's uh, use that. And definitely not for this truck, but uh, we can do this. We can do this just with a, bit, a little bit of the care, a little bit of attention, a little bit of luck. Okay, let's smack that wheel down. Perfect. Oh, wow. Easy there. Easy there. Let's stick to... No, 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 no. That's not happening. That is not happening. I said that's not happening. There we go. That's happening. You guys are, do understand that this is probably not going to be a return journey, right? Okay, so this is the quest. Well, either way, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are here. Again, if you guys like this series, uh, like, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. Uh, leave a comment down below if you really, really like it. Uh, this has been Cosmo, and I will see you guys in the next one. And I have no idea how we're going to get off this island.